the Alabama Community Capacity Grant has uh, helped put this together because it's improved the leadership skills of everyone that's been involved in it, as well as we've uh, been able to collaborate with uh, the community and address the nursing shortage in America. So um, there will be um, a nursing shortage over the next few years. Uh, there's expected to be a 15% increase um, in the demand for nurses, and uh, this uh, grant helps to address that problem directly by teaching students um, the benefits of being a nurse, um, encouraging enrollment in Jacksonville State University, um, as well as encouraging enrollment in the health and wellness program and specifically the nursing program. This is a really great program to be a part of. Uh, we have gotten a lot of student-led leadership because the students are over this. So we plan everything. We have been very innovative in creating the games and the interactive periods and like getting ideas and stuff. We've collaborated with Gadsden uh, Middle School and we've created this project where we've been able to get eighth grade students to come out uh, during one of their classes uh, and come out here and do hands-on activities. So we have a lot of many stations here. We have travel nursing which shows the students like you can be a nurse and travel different places and get paid to do it. We have transport nursing which is going to be like your ambulance nurses and your flight nurses and that's really awesome to see because not a lot of people know like what that's all about. We have pediatric nursing which is a great field to be in and show them like how they interact with kids. We have a forensic nursing which not a lot of people know but they have any nurses and crime scenes and like how that nurse is implemented in those situations. And then we have our road to nursing station which is where we just show you like the basics of nursing and like what we do as students and what future nurses will be doing on their daily lives. So we are using this pediatric simulator to teach the eighth graders more about pediatric nursing. Pediatric nursing ranges from little tiny babies to older kids, older adults that are ages from 18, 19, and 20 years old. So with this simulator, they are getting to listen to heart and lung sounds and bandaging wounds and all that kind of stuff that you would see in a hospital. So we're making a difference by showing the students what pediatric nursing is, and just opening their eyes to that field and specialty of nursing. Yeah, it was just a you know wonderful opportunity for the students to you know to work with Jacksonville, collaborate with Jacksonville uh, nursing. You know, because I think a lot of kids nowadays they see nursing and then maybe somebody they see in the nursing home or just a hospital. But then being able to see that there's many different opportunities within the, within the field of nursing and a lot of innovative type ways in nursing, you know, with life flight or a travel nurse, just, you know, more than just what they see in a hospital, that there's just more opportunities that I don't think they'd ever really understand unless they went through a program like this. And anything that we can try to provide them for possible career opportunities and let them see what else is out there for them to do. I mean, that's just a wonderful thing that Jacksonville State uh, Nursing has been able to uh, bring to my kids today.